Well, nothing says Christmas like enshrining Satan in the White House. That is, if you are Joe and Jill Biden. It's right, you heard me correct. Jill Biden, the First Lady, recently posted this tweet. She said, for this year's holidays at the White House, we hope to capture the spirit embodied in the very idea of America. We the people. Well, first of all, Christmas isn't about America or the Constitution or the Declaration of Independence or we the people, but people looked at Jill Biden's decorations and they looked closely, in particular, the wreath. And the wreath has we the people under it. And then they noticed something kind of odd. Yes, the colors are not very Christmassy. They're green and kind of a dark blue, kind of odd. But when you look really close, what do you see? This goat head, like a demon head, like a Baphomet head, enshrined above the reef. Who does this? Who decorates their house with goat heads? Well, apparently the Bidens do. And so I was curious, because I I people have noticed this already, I said, you know, maybe I'm just seeing things. So I googled and searched Went to a, unfortunately, I went to a satanic website just to see how are they understanding the goat head, and this is what they have. And I'm like, yeah, that's it. That's a goat head. I mean, have you ever said, honey, go get us a new uh, piece of furniture, a new mirror, new setting for the room, and, and make sure you get a goat head on it, a Baphomet head. Now, did I show the close up? Yeah, there's the close up. All right. Now, who is this Baphomet and why would the Bidens put him up there? Well, first off, you may have seen this ugly and horrible image of the Baphomet. It's an androgynous, hermaphroditic, evil character. He, I've talked about it before in my previous videos, by the way. Uh, please like this video, subscribe. And if you want more information on uh, Baphomet and the relationship with the White House over the last two or three years, so please subscribe to hear more and to learn more. It's not just a conspiracy theory, it's become a conspiracy fact, verifiable. That's Baphomet. Now, if you talk to Father Chad Ripperger, I've interviewed Father Ripperger, you can Watch that interview. I've done several of them. The most recent one was amazing, and I encourage you on the screen there. You'll see it. Uh, also link it at the towards the end of the video. But Father Ripperger is the leading exorcist in the United States of America. He talks about how Satan has five generals, five generals, Baal, Asmodeus, Leviathan, Lilith, and the final one, Baphomet. Baphomet's the goat head, the one on the screen. And Real quick, I just want to say, praise be and adored the name of Jesus, the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. I want to say that just as I mention all these horrible things and these demonic creatures. Praise be Jesus Christ, our Lord and our King. The first one, the first of the five generals, according to Father Ripperger, the exorcist, is Baal. And he is the demon in charge of sexual impurity. The second one is Asmodeus, and he is the demon of sodomy and homosexuality in men. The third one is Leviathan, and this is the demon of lesbianism, but in its masculinized, you might call butch form. The fourth is Lilith, and Lilith is the demon of lesbianism in its feminine form. And the final one is Baphomet. And what is Baphomet the demon of? Baphomet is the demon of child sacrifice and abortion. And although Joe Biden and Jill Biden claim to be devout Catholics, practicing Catholics, they promote abortion and child sacrifice. They advocate for it on the legal level and they take our tax money to promote and subsidize abortion both here in America and abroad. There has never been a more pro-abortion president in the history of America. And if Baphomet, the goat-headed demon, is in fact, as Father Ripperger, the leading exorcist says, the demon of abortion and child sacrifice, 
it would make sense why they have a demon head as part of their Christmas decoration. It's sick, it's perverted, it's inverted, and it's disgusting. And this is real. You've heard these so-called conspiracy theories that people in the White House, people in Hollywood, people in the music industry, people in the fashion industry are given over to Satanism, occultism. Yes, sadly, it is true. Look at their family. By their fruits, you shall know them. Let us pray. Let us get on our knees and pray that God somehow in the years to come gives us a president who truly loves and fears God. Let us also pray for the repentance of Joe and Jill Biden. They are masquerading as Christians, as Catholics, but they are promoting that which is sick and evil. And the fruit of that is the murder, the death of millions and millions of little babies all races all over America and all over the world. And remember, our Lord Jesus Christ says, you're the light of the world and the salt of the earth. So go out there and be salty. God bless and Godspeed. Thank you so much for watching my podcast. Check out this video, which you might find interesting. And also please hit the subscribe button and subscribe for future videos.